We're live. That's a little yellow. This thing's fray. Pile of poopy. Is that Nag Champ? Just get moved. Yeah, I'm gonna need some Nag Champ. All right. Right. Instead. We're live. Hey, folks. Kind of. Not live. Howdy. How are you? How's it going, people? <laughs> so, Little Cats Ups 3. Okay. Ish. Three. Yep. Oh, I think we should just get rid of the other one. It's three now. Yeah. Well, yeah, that makes it three. The other one will be one five if we ever. I was going to. If life doesn't keep getting in the way. Yeah. Yeah. One of well, these we've days. been busy lately. I mean, yeah. it's nice and freaking hot out. Hot as the proverbial We're back balls. To our, yeah. Yeah. Because you have 98 and I have 97. On my phone. That was my yeah. favorite band. Who the hell's my favorite? For a long time. <laughs> They're like the knockoff phone. boy band. It's not yeah. even Backstreet Boys are insane. <laughs> no. Okay, you, just, was, you were just like, F that. Yeah. I'm going to go 98 no, degrees. I was straight up Backstreet Boys. Oh, Fucking insane. Then we can't be friends. Get them out of here. Uh, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> hey, my phone's over there. Why don't you give me that? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, bud. No, I was Backstreet Boys all the way. Yeah. We were just talking about New kids on the block. I was team in sync. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, as I've grown older, I did, both oh, equally I gotta, bad. I got to catch up here. Catch up. <laughs> catch up. That's catch what up. we're doing. <laughs> Good thing we're here. Hey, I get it. We were talking ah. about Nick Carter the other day. Ooh, yeah. Have you guys seen him lately? Dang, I man. saw something about Aaron Carter a while back. So Nick Carter's him. got Medusa tattooed on his face, wow. and he's a tweaker. He, somebody said he might be sober now, but I do not think so because I watched <laughs> him on a podcast not long ago, and it was bad. Yeah, didn't seem like he was all Poor there, dude. But I mean, could you imagine being that popular as a child? And, like you have such a promising future, and then mm -hmm. it's just all taken away. Yeah, which is probably. I wonder. He's still probably making money off of his music. Yeah, I'm sure. To. There's royalties coming yet. I want candy. I mean, I'll jam to that. If it comes on, I ain't skipping it. I probably no. skip it. <laughs> Wait, probably skip it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I come on the radio. I listen to. I maybe yeah. at least listen to some of it. Yeah, just a little bit, and then like thirty seconds. That's all I could say. Get your get your nostalgia in. Yeah. Then move along <laughs> to some hardcore rock or something. Yeah, but that's why I listen to ELO because that is nostalgia. I remember being like seven years old, jamming Mr. Blue Sky on a cassette tape on on repeat. I think we played at least something oh, from them in band at some point. They were so great. Their melodies are awesome. It just makes me think Telephone of one of my line. sisters. That's all. Because she was super into them. Yeah. Yeah. So Which one? Becca? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be using names. Oh, I don't know. I'll cut <laughs> the name out. <laughs> <laughs> not dogging. Anyway. <laughs> For a second, I was like, I you agree. haven't had that much. You can't remember her name? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Calm down. How Jesus. can I forget my sister's name? <laughs> yeah. tick, 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 tick. Don't touch. <laughs> Pinky up. Yeah. Fancy with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We just randomly ran into Kara. Yeah. Speaking of names. Yep. That was the weirdest thing. We were going to Hoops down in Canal Park. Yeah. It was after we went to the CBD shop and I had like a bag full of Delta 8 CBD stuff. She works for the police line. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. I always wondered about that. I she's just, a dispatcher. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She's a dispatcher. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. So like, like yeah. how squeaky is she? Oh. She didn't. She didn't seem to care because I was, I was a little tuned up. Because okay, so by the time we got there, we had been to Three Ten Pub. And I had a couple beers there, and then we went to um, Vicra, <laughs> Vicry or whatever the distillery, you know. In is that in the moon? It's in Canal Park. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking that was in uh, that place we came through after Prescott, but no. But yeah. no, it's it's right down in Canal Park. So we went in there, and it was. It was pretty fancy, you know. Like, yeah, the group was. Yeah, but it once you get your flight of little four bougie. liquors, I mean, it's like three and a, three and a half, four shots of like some potent some stuff. Yeah. Really good. It was the first time that 
I, it might be the, no, it was the second time I've been to a distillery, but I've never gotten a flight and just had a bunch of yeah. different liquors in front of me. That'd be all right. And it was the first time that I've actually like smelt a whiskey and been like, wow, oh, that smells like caramel, mm -hmm. like straight up caramel. Hopefully they're not like using syrups or something, which I don't think they would. I doubt it. But it was just like pungent. It was great. Chocolate and caramel is what it Oof. smelled like. And even tasted like a little bit. See, so like, then after we left there, I was oh, yeah. feeling real nice. Get you all right. <laughs> but then we went to that CBD store and he's telling us about this Delta 8 crap. And then after I bought the gummies, I bought a like a 20 milligram CBD drink. Yep. And I just slammed it, you know, real fast because the CBD, what's it going to do? Right. I was weirdly fucked up that night. <laughs> And now after having that little interaction with the gummies, I'm wondering, it had to have been the drink. Something. So then, yeah, we meet, we run into Kara, That's going cool. to Hoops, and then I showed her, and she's like, you know, I work for Dispatch, right? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I smoke weed. <laughs> Let's just get that out in the open. And then she's like, this yeah, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> so she's fine with it. But that was great. That was so That's crazy. Cool. We were literally just walking down the sidewalk, and I was was not paying attention, just staring at trees and shit. <laughs> and I looked down, and she's like, what are you on? <laughs> what are you on? No, she sent me, like, a Snapchat, like, look who I ran into. And I thought, like, it was, I thought it was planned. And so I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, nice, give him a hug. And she's like, I already did. I was like, cool. And that was it. And then a little bit later, she posted something, like, of you and Pan, and I was like, oh, it looks like fun. Yeah, like I had. Snapchat? I didn't I see so. that. Yeah. Wow. Shoot. But yeah, like it was. I thought it was entirely planned. I didn't realize it was just a random meetup. That's funny because wow. she asked a few weeks ago, a month ago, I don't know, uh, on Facebook. She's like, "Does anybody have any suggestions for places to stay, things to do in Duluth?" And like I sent her the link to that Airbnb that we stayed at, which we didn't discuss last time. So yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, we didn't so talk it's about like the North trip out of the blue. Yeah, but. It was just one of my, no, I don't think we did. Did we? Oh, wait, maybe we did. I think we did a little bit. Oh, maybe a little hippie hostel and stuff. Yeah. Do we talk maybe, about it maybe. on here though? I don't know. We can briefly cover it. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. Which, <laughs> so yeah, so briefly cover it then. We went to uh we <laughs> take it away. Like a month and a half. It was, it was like the second, third weekend, third weekend in April, something like that. Towards the end of April. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because everything was opening back up like the following week, oh. like the first week of May. Mm -hmm. So end of April, we went to uh, met up with you at work. We jumped in and we went to Duluth, spent the night in Duluth. We got, uh, shit, where was that pizza from? Sammy's. I don't yes, remember at all. Sammy's Pizza. Hmm. Uh, we got it at Sammy's Pizza and then we went to an Airbnb next morning, Duluth Grill. Uh, Duluth Grill never disappoints. Yeah, is that that's so the breakfast good. burrito? Oh, it? so good. Is that the one Always. that's down by? Um, it's kind of when you first come into town. Yeah, but what's it's the? End. It's next to uh, Fulton. Is it it Fulton? is Fulton. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's next to yeah, Fulton. It's right down. No, Fulton. not Fulton. Fulton mm -hmm. is in Minneapolis. Uh, no, it's, I know. I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> yeah. You can see it from thirty-five. Not Ben Paddle. Uh, yeah, Ben Paddle. Is it Ben Paddle? Yeah, yeah, it might be. <laughs> it's ben Paddle. I don't know. Let's we'll see how yeah, old this Fulton, age is. Yeah, Fulton, Fulton is in yeah. Minneapolis. Castle Danger is up in Two oh, Harbors. Ben Harbors. Paddle. Yeah. And then there's, yeah. And then there's like two cider places, mm -hmm. cider brewers. I'll let right you guys keep Saint track Street. of this stuff because I have like no <laughs> yeah. I was actually going to, no I think there's an well, app. I think it's called like Untapped and it tracks like the different beers you've had. And yeah. I think I had it years ago and I was like, eh. And I got rid of it. Now I'm like, shit, I need to. I but that, that Duluth Grill, we went, we were gonna go so there, good. and it, like we got there by ten, maybe, and it was packed. There's there was like probably thirty people waiting in line. Mm -hmm. So we said fuck that, and then we went to that what's that Sir Benjamin's or something like that, I'm which sure actually turned out to be really good. It's just this tiny little place right off the main drag in Duluth, kind of towards the uh, east side. Before you start heading towards like Glen Sheen Mansion and stuff, right? It was perfect. I was like, I was pretty hungover, uh, weirdly hungover because <laughs> I didn't drink that much. <laughs> That's why I had to have been that CBD drink. But we were like, I remember just sitting there and I was eating some avocado dip reluctantly, and I'm like, 
this is pretty nice. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just like, begrudgingly oh, like this. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes really good, but my stomach hurts. But I'm looking out over this giant lake, and the sun's out there. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. Yep. But yeah. So yeah, Duluth oh, Shore, man. Duluth Grill. Uh, hit the liquor store there, loaded up on stuff on the way out of town to head for. Actually, we did that before Duluth Grill because long ass line, we had to wait. So like, well, let's run across the street. There's a liquor store right across. So we got got some beers. And, Make good use of our time. Yeah. Yeah. Get so, alcohol. Well, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so we loaded up on that. And then, God, they had that uh, breakfast burrito. That's where I had that. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Did After you... I sent it back for like, it had onions in it. Scallions. Onions. Scallions. I said it had onions. In... I hate onions. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate ah, onions? Onions are the devil. See, They're I so am good see, though. I, I'm are. coming around a have little. You, have you tried them recently? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so did you gag, did did you gag and puke? I did not. Cook like okay. So like <laughs> <See> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> progress. You know, sometimes I gag a little. She said, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like raw onions? Fuck that. No, that's terrible. That's the worst thing ever. But if it's cooked down, fine. Like salsa, something like that. Or caramelized no onions. Yeah, like caramelized, something like that. Mm, I've good. come around and I'm like, okay, I love I want that. onions. So now, like, yeah, like actually when I made, I can't remember what that was that I made for us a while back. But I was like, you want onions on it? And you're like, well, yeah. So yeah, I made don't, caramelized don't onions. Don't ask me that. Yeah, so I, was like, yes. well, I was like, do you want caramelized onions? And I was like, yeah, okay. So I made a bunch of caramelized onions. And I put some on hers. And I was like, all right, fine. Okay, that was that was decent. Like I was all right with it, and I would eat it again. Yeah. But I don't know. It's more of a texture thing for me. I don't know what it is, but if I bite into like a chunk of onion, ugh. have you <laughs> have you ever had a blooming onion? Yeah, ooh, blooming onions, in and it. that is like borderline. That's a little too close to raw and crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've had some pretty old and soggy blooming onions. If it's a soggy blooming onion. <laughs> That sounds like something you'd find on like Urban Dictionary. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we did. After. We did a soggy blue onion. <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> like, nah, like, well, I mean, just based on the name. Yeah, anyway. I'm not even gonna go. Yeah, there. I've seen. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll do that. Some not yuck. on recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So delicious. Uh, breakfast burrito, and then we went to uh, Grand Marais. Everything is pretty much closed up there at that time oh, of year. Right. It was like we went like a week early. We checked out Sven and Oli's. Though. We went to Sven and Oli's. Finally did it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. We got pizza there, and then and the chicken wild rice or whatever pizza. It's a restaurant. Oh, Sven and Oli's pizza. That's like an uh -huh. icon. Yeah, it's like, like a it's iconic like a world famous yeah. pizza. Sven and Oli are. I've never yeah. heard of Sven and Oli's pizza. Yeah. It's well, like a big deal. You have now been educated. Yeah. yeah, you know this. Shit. <laughs> we didn't make it up that far. Well, well, we only got to two harbors and we had a couple beers at Castle Danger, yeah. which was fine. We talked about Castle Danger. It's kind of like Pan and I had this discussion because, like. The main Cato Brewery or whatever has just kind of like a bar kind of vibe to it. You know, you yeah. walk in, whatever. We get to Castle Danger, and there's like a hostess right at the door. And she's like, just wait. How many in your party? And we're like, two. She's like, okay, I'll, I'll let you through when the next bartender is available. Oh, you can go to Tim. And it's like very uh, structured. Like, like she, a... and, you know, and kind of like that. This kind of takes away from, yeah. I want to sit at the bar and talk to the... It makes me <laughs> wonder how much of that's COVID related and how much of it is that's like true. standard procedure. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they really, I suppose they really do have to kind of manage how many people are in there. Sucks. Yeah. You know? So that's kind of shitty. Yeah, when a big name like Cats. It, damp it dampens the enough. experience a little. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we'll try it again. Did you get a cream ale? No, God, no. What? I drank, I was, I was drinking cream ale the night before. Okay. Well, the cats are <laughs> female, so I didn't get. I that. love a cats are female. Other I other stuff. Well, I drink one before you guys got here. <laughs> well, there you go. But I wanted to try other stuff that I hadn't. Really yeah, had fair enough. Before. They had like a Kolsch. That was good. Oh, but he said, "Do you want? Oh, uh, we have talls and shorts. So a tall to me is twenty-two ounces. Like twenty a short yeah. is sixteen. Yeah. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'll do your Kolsch in a short.' You know." 
He goes, oh, it's oh, like okay. super short. It's a tulip. It's a fucking 10 ounce, oh, 11 ounce tulip. Yeah. Like, so now I got a 4.7 beer and a tulip. And right. it's like, <laughs> tuck my wiener between my legs. <laughs> right. You know, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's stupid. But it was uh, my fault. I mean, they literally had the ounces right there. I just, I just you get tired of reading real fast. That's true. That, that's really fast. <laughs> I can't be looking at the size of glasses and short. Shit. Okay, <laughs> that's where I stop. It said short eleven ounces in this book. Well, you know. Well, so all right, yeah. So Grand Marais, Spenanoli's. We tried to go to the. We tried to go to Happy Hip. No, Hungry Hippie Tacos. Mm-hmm. And they were closed. Hungry they hippie tacos. hungry hippie tacos. Um, it's actually run by the same folks that run the hungry hippie hostel that we stayed at. And so we pulled up to, and then here's what's funny is we pull up there and we're like, all right, let's get some tacos. And we go up to the door and there's a thing on it. That's like closed because of an explode exposure to COVID. One of our employees was I'm like the whole place. Had like the place down. was closed and I'm sitting there going, well, shit, we're supposed to grab tacos, and then we're going to their place. Like, we're driving <laughs> to their house <laughs> and staying at the hostel in their backyard, and I'm like, I was legitimately concerned for a moment. I was like, this isn't cool, because especially, like, well, with your work, like, that's not a good thing. Were you guys vaccinated by then? No. Yeah, I am. Uh, I've been I vaccinated since uh, oh. February, so I was good. Had I had my first dose? I think you did. I think maybe I had my first. You mu- well, you must have because you're like fully vaccinated now. Mm-hmm. So, go well, but back. it's only three to four weeks. Three. I can't weeks remember when I got I my. Have for yeah, I can't remember when I got my second one. No, it I'm saying in, like I you have. are considered yes. fully vaccinated. So if that was towards the end of April, and yeah. we're just the beginning of June, yeah. logically, yes. you at least started the process. Yeah. Good call. Thank you. Nailed. It. Oh, did you guys see me on the paper? <laughs> Yeah. You in the paper. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> was it the front page? I don't know. I you were in the paper? I saw it like yeah. What? The I saw like a screenshot. Of this is news to me. Yeah. No, I went to because uh, the Mankato Brewery had the get a free beer, get your first COVID shot or whatever. Oh. Because they had high V down there. Oh. So I was like, oh, fuck it, whatever. I'll go down there. I gave my free beer card away. Because <laughs> <laughs> that happens <laughs> anyway. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, then I like, I don't Thanks, know. Thanks, Pan. As soon as I was filling out the information, this dude named Pat from the uh, Mankato Free Press came up to me and he's like, Can I take a picture and follow you around when you get your stuff done and blah, blah? I'm like, Yeah, I don't know. Fucking care. <laughs> yeah. When he got a picture, I don't know, he took a lot of pictures, but it's a picture of me just drinking beer with my thing oh. on the band aid. I'll have to see that later. Yeah, I, saw I did like not a, know this existed. I think yeah. I saw a screenshot of it on Facebook from something. It's the second time we've been on the front page of the fit. Oh, it. maybe that's the old one. So when was maybe the, I saw when, the old one. when was the first time? That was like a few years back. Yeah, a few okay. years back. I think Pan maybe that's I, what I saw. Um, Pan and I went and toured Euphoric Brewing up in. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. up by where uh, uh, Blake I live. Yeah, yeah, up in Blakely. Mm-hmm. And then our friend was working for the paper at that time, so it's like she's like, "Hey, you guys want to be kind of like." The guys that asked them the questions because I don't know anything about beer, and they're like, "Okay, yeah, sure, whatever." So we got a whole private tour, and it was kind of fun. So that was at Euphoric. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a uh, I don't know if she's I don't know if she's actually ex J Dub or if she is still in fringe ish, but uh, I was talking to a friend a few months ago, and she's from somewhere in that area now, and she's like, "Yeah, she's like, let's let's all go to Euphoric sometime." So. I don't know. I'm not sure if she knew that I'm out or how out I am. So I don't know. But yeah, it'll only be awkward if she wants to make it awkward. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I <don't> know. <laughs> so, oh boy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been there. I've always wanted to. Everyone I've talked to said they got they pretty decent. Had, I've been there a couple of times. They've got they some have good like beers. 24 taps Dude, or something. When too. they opened up, they had 16 lines, Jesus. which is insane. Yeah. And a lot of their like equipment, they it's like uh, like three older dudes. I can't remember if they're like brothers or not, but they make a lot of the equipment that they use, or That's at least sweet. they made when they started a lot of the equipment that they use. So it was, I don't know, it was a pretty cool setup. Um, they had this one beer that was like a corn-based beer, and it literally tasted kind of like sweet corn. 
And it sounds gross. I like you know, like they have those yeah. sweet corn pops or sodas yeah. or whatever, and those are oh, fucking awful. This was actually really good. It worked with like the yeastiness and the I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm really not like put flavor. off by the idea. Well, no, I don't think they had it last time I was there. I'm just That's not super while. into sweet corn since I grew up. Yeah, I yeah, eating a lot of it and picking it, and you know, yeah, so I was true. like, or if you were hungry, you just ate it raw. You know, oh, I've done that before. I think I could pass on. That. It's not that bad. Yeah. I've eaten raw sweet corn. Mm-hmm. It's doable. Yeah, eatable, yeah. edible. I'm a, I'm a, well, I mean, you can I'm eat a lot. I'm a fan of sweet corn. You have to. Yeah, sweet corn is really good. So, yeah, I'll, I always got time for sweet corn. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> <Who doesn't? laughs> one of us does. <laughs> as long as somebody else boils it. And all, you know, is this corn hand shucked? I don't want to shuck it. <laughs> ah, shucks. <coughs> um, so, well, anyways, J Dub stuff, though. There's a yeah. video, and I have not watched it yet, but it was a Cedars, John Cedars video, and it was based on what we had been talking about. About how is the governing body going to start selling off Kingdom Halls? Kingdom Halls. Yep. Are they even ever going to go back? I, I didn't watch it, but did you? I was just going to say, I don't think I watched the video. Yeah, Tell me about it. No, <laughs> so, I didn't watch it. Uh, I yeah, no. Um, I, I saw that there is a video on that. So I don't keep up on it as much since I've, I, I've just <clears throat> I've been away from it. And I honestly for so long process so much of it <laughs> yeah. now that like I just kind of go, all right. Yeah. It is what it is. Brady and I just had that conversation like not too long ago. Um, it's kind of like like I want to pay attention to all this stuff. And like for a few years there, I was just watching every single video that John Cedars would put out, every single Shun podcast that Mike would, would put out. Yeah, and they're all great. But it, then all, all of a sudden, it kind of just started tapering off. Like I'd forget. Yeah. So I don't know if it was just like. A, <laughs> That, if was very, that was very well timed. <laughs> like, if you didn't hear that, can maybe just died upstairs. <laughs> so, yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Barrier in the garden. Maybe the peppers will do better. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, come on. These but are I'm laughing. It's like the natives. You've got to make use of the entire animal. Yeah. Oh. And it's an animal. The panel, the panel. Oh, and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> with your with your reggae Sesame Street shirt. Check them out, man. I like it. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so one of us should watch that video. I and agree. Film that next one, the other one in on it. Yeah, and I'm like kind of saying you like it's tape. I have not watched. Man, I don't know. I've watched very few Cedars videos recently. And, like if I watch anything that's like religious or not, yeah, usually not much for J Dub related anymore, more religious like skeptical thinking, atheism stuff, or yeah. like specifically looking at the Bible, things like that. But uh, one that I have checked out recently, he's making like really good videos. Is the channel is the Truth Hurts on YouTube. And was that that one you showed me about dinosaurs? And yeah, stuff? probably. Yeah, he made a yeah he made one talking about dinosaurs. He makes really good stuff. Yeah, and he's he very quickly started like loading up followers and views on like the he's, very he's getting some attention. Well structured. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like he makes very good content, and so and it's kind of one of those. It's refreshing. It's a little bit different than what Cedars does. So because again, his is more. You know, he talks about the JW teachings and doctrine and shit like that, but he does more, I don't know, just factual based, just more like, here's why I don't believe the Bible. He did do one recently. Do like- <laughs> right, absolutely. Like, I, I like analysis like that. That's yeah. cool. Um, but he did do one, it might have been his last video, his most recent one. He actually found out like last minute about the the talk when he was disassociating, when he was like out of it as an apostate and they gave like the local needs talk or whatever the hell. Oh, really? So we found about out about it like last minute and he started recording. He missed like the first minute or two of the talk, but then he has the rest of it and he just plays a little clip of it and then discuss, plays a clip, discusses. And so, and as expected, like there's a lot of 
well, they don't actually address any of the actual topics, any of his actual concerns, and it's all just how well you shouldn't listen to people like this and just listen to the right religious. So what? <clears throat> but that was that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, so you basically had a marking talk. Uh, essentially, mean? well, like, or a disfellowshipping talk, like when oh. he, after he was disfellowshipped, he didn't a, just get an announcement, he got a, he, he got, got a talk, right? Ah. <laughs> Which usually happens after someone gets disfellowshipped. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? There's a local meeting, yeah. usually the next month. So if you pay attention to the local meeting, at least the month after <laughs> someone gets disfellowshipped, you can figure out. Do they even have local needs anymore? I mean, what I is this structure? Maybe, probably. I have no idea. Yeah. It's, it's I guess I could ask my kids. Different. I haven't looked at a workbook in a while. I think I might have one of the more, more recent ones because there was something that I tried to look up. Letter down too. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah. I was gonna have to pull up the screenshots of the one I got from my other friend Amanda back in Nebraska. You're she, surrounded by Amanda. Yeah. Just like Tyler's yeah. are drawn into my life for some reason. Tyler's and Amanda's are all, all over the place. Yeah. Your like last, or was it last <laughs> night? Yeah, last night. I was like, I cracked a, a ruby, and I was like, hey, it's the Tyler. Oh, yeah. It's the extra Tyler sip. And, and she's like, what, what are you talking about? Like, no, I don't remember me. his name. You know, like, I don't remember his Tyler name. Tyler Watson, not me. <laughs> like another Tyler. Oh, the patented God. extra sip. And none of it got out. It, like it was all it fell on the floor. It fell out of, I dropped it by she accident. Dropped it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> like open that over the sink. And he's like, like, oh, I'll be fine. I'm like, remember the extra. The little, remember? <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, you're right. So then I took it to the sink. And I still contained it all, I think. It was pretty well contained. It was. Right. It was it. it was good. But so we got the extra Tyler sip. And <laughs> but no, so my friend Amanda back in Nebraska, she also sent me. Uh, it was a Snapchat of like, a, I think it was just the envelope from a letter that she got from a J Dub back there, and I was like, ah, oh, that's fuck. She sent me. She's like, how the fuck do these people have my address? And I'm like, well, I can tell you how. <laughs> but you were pretty good at it. <laughs> right. I'm like, so there was guys like me that that was our job to put together lists mm -hmm. of all of your phone numbers and addresses. That's what I did. I was really good at finding French, native French speakers when I was in the French congregation. Really? So yeah. I helped a lot with that. <laughs> good or bad. I think you and I just got the same snatch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Oh, hey. So, no, I, I did in well, time I, left. Did I'm I tell you a little, or a sippy cup got one too? Do you got a letter? From Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a second, I, my mind went to Matt, and I'm like, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, no, 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 he didn't. The Faja, the Faja, the <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Crikey, uh, that dude, felt, that was always... like... oh, oh yeah, it's not a stable. Don't do that. We just about took the whole table over. Yeah, you just, just about went poof. the table. <sighs> but he got one from. That's funny. All right. But I don't like. I don't think that it was addressed. I mean, it was addressed to him, but I don't think it was because they have his address. It must have been a phone book yep. thing or something. Because Sippy Cup's been out for. You can do reverse. Twenty one six. You can do reverse years. look up through like white pages. I got. I had a whole system. Yeah. No, they they moved you're like a little private investigator. And... No, the it's way they set those hard. up. No, but the way they set those up is at least in Blue Earth, and I think that was pretty much standard. Is you got a territory card, and it was essentially you know like the territory they would have in town anyway, and then it was just all of the addresses uh -huh. and phone numbers within that area. Well, in French, it was a humongous territory. <laughs> right. The territory was huge, yeah. and then you had to reverse look up the streets. So then you're going through all the streets and looking at all the names of all the people in those streets. And I go, that one. You know, like write it down. But I think it's them. I think it's them. I think it's them. You write it down. Yeah. It was a long were process. Accurate, though. Were you good at it? A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. I remember there was someone even in Mankato. Um, <laughs> where was on? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't really give things away. This is a long time ago, though. But it was like this, this small street in Mankato. I remember thinking, I wonder if this is accurate. Like, I even questioned myself. And I remember I showed up, though, and sure enough, there was a native speaker there. And they were like, how did you find us? You know, <laughs> like, because so it was like, I can't uh -huh. remember, because the, um, 
how did it go? I don't remember exactly, but I the it was like a roommate or like an adopted child. Like a, it was like not the homeowner. It was someone was living there, like going to college, or I can't remember. And specific, it's been so long, but mm -hmm. like it was definitely a native speaker, and they were like freaked out. Like they probably, I was like, oh god, they're gonna do like harassment or something. But were they witnesses before or something? Or no, the, they didn't have ties to. No, not at all. No, I just wow. found them. <laughs> That's look up. crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I spent many hours like working on people ball, used to bring me their territories, territories and be like, help me. Because I could find them. Oh. That sounds arrogant. I like how it sounds, but like it was true. Well, and yeah. I could I I was I could find them. Yeah, yeah. I mean if you're good at it, you're good at it. Mm -hmm. But that's so weird. <laughs> that I didn't like I didn't realize we did that. Oh Honestly, it's pretty stalkerish. Yeah. yeah I have kidding. actually heard heard of some congregations that they'll actually buy like lists like telemarketing companies put out no like they'll, way. they'll buy like contact lists like that you can i feel like we were almost a... getting to that point because oh, they yeah. started changing how you could do that through like white pages and stuff i was still starting to struggle a little more mm -hmm. of course you know this is like six years ago or more well more more than that yeah so yeah yeah i, I remember contemplating Jeez. doing that well you can i mean yeah there's there's one that we used at work. It's this company called Constant Contact. And yeah, you just buy contact lists and it just has names, phone numbers, emails, and just tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of names, just, just tons of them. Good Lord. So I've heard of that happening as well. But yeah, so she's like, how did they get these? I'm like, well, let me tell you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> right. so then I was like, hey, actually, could you send me a picture of the letter? And so she sent it to me. And it's from a witness back there I've known my entire life. Like, uh, actually, so, well, yeah. actually a relative of uh, Nick and Darren that we've mm -hmm. spoke about on the podcast before. So, yeah, I've known her my entire life. I'm still friends, I think, with her daughter on Facebook. <laughs> like, <sighs> yeah. So, That's so weird, man. But, yeah. And I must uh, just be, like, on a don't contact unless you're an elder list. Because oh, since we've moved here, yeah, since we moved here, I have not gotten one person that stopped at our house that's just like a standard witness. They did when we were in the apartments. Well, they're not doing public anymore. So well, you no, wouldn't but for yeah, the last year and a half. Two, yeah, that's true. But I haven't gotten a letter. I haven't gotten a phone call except from elders, you know, yeah. which I don't think that'll happen anymore after the last conversation I had with them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> Plus, I, I haven't talked to dad since the. Well, maybe I should just talk about that for a second. I think you should. Yeah. We'll just fill everybody in. Because we got pregnant. Pan got pregnant in, was it February? January, February. Mm -hmm. So it was all exciting. Uh, february -ish, I, think. I think it was February. All exciting. And then. Well, yeah, because I'd been moved out for a while from, <laughs> from when I was mostly living here. Yeah. And that was end of January. Yeah. So. And then a few weeks went by and she miscarried. And it was just kind of shitty. So, like, mm -hmm. I, the day of, yeah, yeah. the baby dingus. <laughs> um, Affectionately. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, like, I called my dad because he's like, I don't know. That's kind of yeah. one of those things where you're like, I kind of feel like I should talk to my parents, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So, I call them, I'm crying. I'm like, this sucks, dude. What happened? Like, my kid's dead and all this stuff. So, he, he's like, can I, oh, he asks, um, would you, could you meet me at MGM? Like, we live two blocks <laughs> right. away from MGM, right? I'm like, um, you can just come to Which my... is a liquor store. A liquor, okay. store. liquor store. In case someone has no idea what we're talking about. It's a liquor about. store. Where I got <laughs> liquor <laughs> yeah. an hour ago. Yeah. I'm like, hey, uh, I mean, I can, or you can just freaking come to my house two blocks away, parked by my, my truck or whatever. She's like, okay, uh, I'm all here. So, like, I went to talk to him. And he, I mean, at first he was pretty just chill and he freaking opens up the door to his Jeep and he's got a box full of hard liquor <laughs> and they're all different. He's like, I got this for you. And it's a big bottle of bullet bourbon. Yeah. It's good. Right. No, bur bourbon. Oh, bourbon. Sorry. <laughs> I heard bourbon. Sorry. 
<laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> what, what does Pam drink? Is she kind of like a brandy or, a, you know, and I'm like, oh, no, she hates brandy. She's more vodka. He's like, oh, vodka. <laughs> Just starts shuffling <laughs> through all these bottles. Pulls out a 175 of, um, I forget what, vodka, prairie gin or whatever. Is it prairie? Prairie, yeah. Yep. Prairie vodka. It's good, yeah. For Pam. He's like, well, this was for your mother. <laughs> <laughs> but you can have this. Still probably That's five funny. more bottles of hard liquor. I, I don't know what they were. So <laughs> made me feel better about myself. I'll say that much. Oh, I mean, man. it had to be like hundreds of dollars. With Anyways, he gives me this stuff. And then he got serious. You know, he like gives me a hug and stuff. And it's, it was nice, but he wouldn't he wouldn't come into my garage, let alone my house. Yeah. He's like, I think we better just stay out here. It's like, okay, yeah. What? Well, oh, you want me to kick the demons out of my garage quick? And then yeah, we, can just, we can sit on the couch. Can ask if they'll leave us alone there. for a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But then he starts asking. He's like, So do you would you uh would you like me to pray? You know, for and I was like, um, no, negative ghost crap. Uh, <laughs> and then, it, what? You, oh, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to, you know, like go through some scriptures? Or as no, absolutely not. I do not want to do that at all. Nope. Well, do you think about, you know, like coming back and whatnot, or does that cross your mind? I said, no, not really, man. Yeah, and the answer is no more. <laughs> and I mean, I I kind of got a little blunt with him, but I mean, I could have been far more blunt. Yeah. But I was literally just like, I, I will never come back. Literally for this reason that's right. happening yeah. right now, this stupid religion is wedged between you and your son, man. It's torn our family apart. Yeah. Like this is the biggest reason I will not come back, on top of a mountain of other reasons. And after I said that, he was like, Oh, oh, so you must be like an apostate. He didn't say that, but I could yep. see it. Oh, I could yeah. see the gears turning. Haven't heard from him since. Yep. So one of the worst days of my life turned into the loss of my, like, probably the real loss of my parents, which I, I don't care. You know what, man, if you're going to come to me, because I remember, I mean, I mean, I know we used to have parts when people are at their lowest. That's the best time to start yep. wedging your way back in and tell, telling them to get back to Jehovah and all that shit. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. So yep. even at my lowest, if I'm still that adamant against yeah he, i think he got the he I think he got the point mm-hmm. so i probably won't hear much from them anymore yeah which is fine <laughs> yeah at this point man that's fine mm-hmm. if that's the way they it's want like, it kind of brings up even like two topics i guess that i'm yeah <laughs> i have on my mind about this one is it goes back to the letter writing right first of all <laughs> before i go into that i'm sorry would yeah. you oh you're going oh. like you know, I mean, we've discussed that outside of, but I want to say, I'm yep. sorry. That sucks. Yeah. Let's just admit that. That sucks. So, I'm not the only one, though. So. <laughs> no, but still. Yeah, I think. Still want to yeah. acknowledge that. <laughs> so, um, for me, okay, so I have like two things. So, to go back to letter writing, my kids have um, school email addresses, and you can only email, they can only email other school email emails so i but i have at least my youngest two have a like it'll alert me like it's connected to my phone when they do something generally anyway not always sometimes i feel like i miss things like what was that going on but um i hate it (laughs) when i'm you know it's the weekend because the school year custody (laughs) schedule is um or visitation or whatever you want to call it um it's i have them during the week for school they go to school where i live and on the weekends, they stay with their dad. Hardcore JW. So um, right now, you know, they've been doing letter writing through all this. And then I started noticing that they were sending, my kids were sending each other letter writing documents through their school emails. And then I was like, do they not have regular email addresses? I mean, I don't know about them. They do. I found out they do. But for some reason, they're sending them through their school email addresses <laughs> like huh so like I'm like do i see something like i'm like god it just seems like wrong you know like right. this is for school and um so, church and state <laughs> yeah so i remember i emailed the principal and i'm like is this really okay I'm like i don't know and he's like well it's up to the parents to parents discretion with that and i said okay well <laughs> i guess at least this i can see what they're doing then yeah. so do you have 
Put it on. You're like, <laughs> oh no, I looked over and I was like, oh, it actually does say live. <laughs> I think it's yeah, it's not going to like. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was <just> like, Wait, <laughs> what? Anyway. anyway, so I've been been able to read their they write through like type like an adult is typing up documents for them that they then copy for letter writing or whatever or they're just sending them out though i'm not really sure i yeah. haven't talked to them about it because i'm like whatever you gotta just let go like yeah. okay fine so um but it's i'm trying to like i have one for my um what is he nine <laughs> How old is he right now? He's nine right now. <laughs> <laughs> so his is like super simple, um, but it was sent from one of my other son's email to him. And it says like, hi, my name is blank. Uh, and I'm here to ask you a question. What do you think is the key to happy family life? Love, money, something else. The Bible says, happy are those hearing the word of God and keeping it. Luke 11, 28. For information, go to jw.org. From your nine-year-old neighbor name. Because the nine-year-old like, goes off. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I don't okay. think I've seen that. I don't know if I saw that. I, I definitely didn't see this. This is from letter your 21. That's what yeah. it's labeled. Letter 21. Um, yeah. So that's my little take on these uh, letter writing territory things going on right now. And then even my my oldest son. Because they just kind of like go, go, go during the weekend. And it's always been rough. And then they kind of come back to me like depleted. Yeah. But um, he was like, once be- once full-time in-person school started again, he was like, oh, I'm like never going to get to sleep in. He's like, my weekends, like I always have to get up. I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, well, I, you know, for service and for meeting. So then we don't really sleep in. He's like, but it's worth it. And I'm like, grr, grr. Uh, you find <laughs> like, out it's not. Okay. <laughs> They just kind of have to let it go, but it's like internally, which at the same time, like I don't want to admit it because then it's like they can use it against me. But right. uh, just like these little things. Which, like just that. a side note, how great was it when you realized you didn't ever have to wake up on a Saturday morning again? Well, I mean, for work. Well, when I was dealing like with that. Yeah. But <laughs> that was great. I mean, yeah. that was just like a holy shit. I don't I'm like, know. wow, I can have a weekend. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to get up early. I don't have to think about service. I don't think about the fact that I don't have my watchtower prepared. Yeah. Because, first of all, like, I hated commenting anyway. Yeah, it was so fun. Hated it. And so, but, you know, I had to be the good, you know, example wife of a ministerial servant. So, um, and then, I don't know what he is now. Could be an elder. I don't know. Yeah. But, um. It's all fake anyway. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, let's stroke that ego. <laughs> oh, God, my ego. <laughs> and he, he definitely uh, would be the way. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, like, I have, so I have very, like, s- slightly different versions of that. It's just like, uh, yeah. And but the school can see this at any time. That's pretty crazy that they. So I think I'm kind of like, yeah, do but that. I suppose they don't want to get involved. That's probably something they're just kind of like, Yep, they well, keep, yep, they won't. Nope, they you won't. guys figure that out. Mm. Maybe they must think, how messed up is this? Mm-hmm. You know, like, whew. <laughs> but they have to take a neutral position, which I completely understand and kind of expected. So, like, I just, I, I wanted to make sure when I contacted the principal to make sure that, like, I wasn't, we weren't violating something, like, for real, for yeah. with, with using it this way. But, like, I didn't want that on me either to look like I didn't know what was going on. Mm-hmm. So, but, yeah, he was like, well... It's up to parents' discretion with that. So, I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, <It's>, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> mm-hmm. not that um, but you can talk about your letter, and then we can go into the next subject. The other thing is we kind of like flying around. Um, or do you just want to do that right away? Nah, we'll stick to the subject. I'm not always oh. very good at that to begin with. Yeah, if we're reading so might letters, as well stick to the subject. Is. And if it looks like I'm not, pay- like I'm paying attention while also looking for the screenshot of the letter that I have. Yeah. Well, why don't yeah. I just read this one that was sent to our good friend Liza? Liza. Because I only read it one time and I don't really remember. She texted me the other day. Liza did? Yeah. Liza Wildy? Yeah. It's a little Wildy. <laughs> she didn't text me back. Uh, anyways, she said she was going to. This one's dated. Three, four, twenty-one. Dear neighbor, my name is blank. I'm not gonna. And I live here in the Mankato area with my family, and along with millions of other Jehovah's Witnesses earthwide, we are making time to volunteer and inviting members of our community 
communities to a special event on March 27th commemorating Jesus' death. It's a memorial. Which is odd they're sending invites out like this. You know, well, I sorry. mean, they still want their Zoom. They were written, supposed to be, like, super selective is what I thought. I didn't think you were supposed to, like, do canvassing. Like, sorry, go ahead. Well, they, well you had your special campaign before I know, memorial but, season well, anyway. So, like, this Zoom now, they're, like, being college. super selective with who oh. they give the link to. And so, like, I didn't think they were supposed to do canvassing. Maybe they just, they just finally made an exception for that time. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no. I mean, it's yellow legal paper. So yeah, it looks pretty, legit. Uh, fancy. They have very yeah. nice handwriting compared to me. She does have very good handwriting. <laughs> I can still sucks. read it. You know, it's kind of cursive, but I can still read it. I almost I should have been a doctor because of my handwriting. <laughs> anyway, instead of a nurse. Well, next paragraph. <laughs> You may very likely be among the many who are looking at the at the world around us, wondering what has happened to it. Why the people of the world? Oh, why is not capitalized? Come oh, on, no. shit why the people of the world have lost patience with one another? Those thoughts are often followed by wondering the fate of our world and future. What? Oh, she must have meant followed by wondering about the fate of our world and future. It's com comforting to know there are real answers to our questions. The bottom line is we do have a hope and that you that or that hope is based on the ransom of Jesus Christ Jesus paid with his life here on earth. Jesus death paired what? Oh paved. Okay, maybe it's not <laughs> that good a hand. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <"All> right. uh, <laughs> Jesus death paved the way for a world filled with peace and health for everyone. A world that was intended for us all from the start. But to make that future real, there's a part we all have to pay. Don't play. And so this year, like every year since Jesus' sacrifice, we are gathering to observe the, that sacrifice as instructed at Luke 22, 19, when he said, keep doing this in remembrance of me. If you would like more information, please visit our website at jw.org and do feel free to write me back if you would like to visit more. Sincerely. Blah blah. Hmm. So I don't know. Now is that local from Mankato? Yeah. So we know who wrote it. Like we would well, know maybe. the first. I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know her, but I know who she's married. Oh, okay. Well, well, one of my old roommates. <laughs> yeah. Let me see that. I want to see it. I'm curious. So I've got one as well. I don't yeah. know this person. <laughs> yep. Okay, we'll discuss yes, this later. Yes, you do. We'll discuss this later, I guess. E, it, her husband's name starts with E. Oh! Yeah. Her name is... Yeah. Know, that's her name? Oh, yeah. whoops. Anyway. French. Yes. Well, that's who that French. is. His name is French. His, His last, last name. name. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 We talked about I got him, a, like, just I got a, Yep. <laughs> yeah. So well, he person. thinks there was something, like, and I was like, "What? No, we weren't." Like, oh, he I mean, does. He did. Yeah. Anyway, Jeez. we'll get into that some other He time. was a nice dude, but he had this. He yeah. had his little quips. So not yeah. duck. I kind of hoped, and then I, I kind of steered him towards my, one of my sisters. That didn't work out. Mm -hmm. That was kind of weird. But like, anyway, I've yeah. known that person for a long time. So. Yeah. Okay, now it all makes sense. Okay. I thought he was gonna cry I'm, when I got this fellowship because he was like, "No, we were supposed to hang out this yeah. year." Yeah. Ah, I, oh, I think I remember. This is like <laughs> coming back to me a little bit. <laughs> he was really. Yeah, I'm just think, upset. Yeah, he was more like, upset than I was. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. That yeah. sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you did get this fellowship after I did. <laughs> we yeah, know that now. solves it. That solves it. Solves the riddle. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, like kind of creepy, really, right? Like, I mean, it's it's creepy in the aspect that it's so. But uh, we probably would have done it too. Oh, absolutely. We For sure. yeah, it's no. not because it's not this person. Mm -hmm. They're this just is copying. some guideline mm -hmm. they're supposed to follow. It's, yep. it's I even them, had letter like, writing and letter writing scripts saved. I remember oh, with yeah. the tracks and stuff, so ready to go, especially as a pioneer. So mm -hmm. like, I get it. It my, was easy. Dude, my Saturday. Another down South Dakota. That was really common doing letter writing because their territory was huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. my, even my door to door witnessing Saturday morning presentation was like almost word for word. Well, they had in the, they the, had the ministry. kingdom ministry. Yeah. Yeah. I would sit there the night before and read them from the kingdom ministry. <laughs> it was just a paragraph. Mm -hmm. Memorize it. 
Because mm-hmm. I didn't need what I was giving these people. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Every once in a while, like on the way, I'd be like, Yeah. I mean, I like that they had presentations just to give it to you because I never can figure out my presentation. The wake was always better because, like, there was some like nature stuff. Yeah, it was like scientific. I would read the nature stuff. It wasn't as biblical and yeah. doctrinal. Yeah, it was as scientific. But as every time I think mean. about those those presentations, the yeah. kingdom <laughs> ministry, and all that, I think about your uncle slash ex father in law because he was always one kind of heading it up at that time when I was like around or in the area. Uncle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your great uncle. Yes, <laughs> your great uncle. <laughs> your ex father in law. Yes. Anyway. So yeah. yeah. Anyway. So now. So, yeah, so I also got a letter from a friend, Amanda, not her. Amanda's a great. Yeah. Amanda, Amanda. She's Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> Damn it. Even I sometimes when I'm typing, I'm like, Amanda, I'm like, oops, nope, too many. But I was telling her the other day, I don't know why, like, my brain, has, side note, has, like, a freeze when I write threes. It just stops. Like, if I'm writing something, it's, like, and a three isn't, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, and I like have to think for Good a second. You don't have to write go. three. <laughs> Add in the. <laughs> there, yeah, no, I. Well, I told you about the. Come guitars. on, get your fill in the blank. <laughs> no, three. With something more. Not if he's three. getting stuck on three. <laughs> well, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take him a while to fill in the rest. <laughs> get your shit together, <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, <laughs> my mind always <laughs> so always in the gutter. Always okay, so it wasn't in the gutter, it had no hole exactly. That's just coming my motto. I gotta pick that up. I gotta start remembering that. I say that every time. I yeah, get a tattoo of it. Ooh. Right, like, uh, yeah, right on under, my your, face. under your eyes. Yeah. Just do post now. Could you imagine me working <laughs> in, in always tired in pediatric nursing? Yeah, you'd be cool that pediatric that on my face. Oh, they're getting more socially acceptable. Yeah. It takes people to do it to uh, make it less tabby. Be a trailblazer. Yeah. Maybe I'll put it down my arm. Blaze some trails. I'm not gonna Blaze some trails and shit. All right. <laughs> okay. Back so anyway, a friend of mine back in Nebraska. She sent me a Snapchat. She's like, what the fuck? How does this person have my address? So uh, I was like, oh. Yeah. But here, I said, send me a picture of the actual letter. She just sent me a picture of the envelope, and I saw what it was. I was like, oh, my God. So, yes, May 12th, 2021. So this letter is like three weeks old. And it says, dear Amanda, it seems we are seeing and hearing more about violence, hatred, and senseless killings that affect that affects human life of all age levels. Some wonder, will it ever end? Some may wonder why God allows it, or how does God feel about it? One thing we can be assured of is that God has strong feelings about those who harm others. Proverbs 6, 16 through 17 shows us there are seven things that God detests, one being hands that shed innocent blood. Well, we might reason if he detests those who take the lives of others, why does he allow it? capitalized H on he, there is a very thought-provoking answer that the Apostle Peter wrote at 2 Peter 3, 9, which tells us God is not slow concerning his promise to end suffering, as some people consider slowness, but he is patient with all humankind because he does not desire anyone to be destroyed, but desires all to attain to repentance. That to end suffering isn't like in parentheses, so she added that. <laughs> uh, you know. I'm 99% sure that's not in the scripture. So he is loving and patient in giving people time to change. Interestingly, time to God is much different than how we view time. For God, a thousand years is as one day, 2 Peter 3, 8. So we have to look at his view of time with a completely different perspective. The third and most important question is, will human suffering ever end? There are many scriptures that assure us that it will end, Read his promises at Psalm 37, 9 through 11, and Revelation 21, 3 through 4. God, I could probably still quote a decent chunk of those. <laughs> I hope you find these scriptures, scriptural thoughts encouraging today. We will soon see an end to human suffering. If you would like to learn more or have questions you are seeking answers for, you can go to the JW.org website. It is free, contains no ads, nor is registration required. You can also contact me at the address noted below. I hope you're remaining well during this time crisis. 
sincere regards. And I know blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know this person again, like I've known them my entire life. Yeah, the app's free to care of, for it, honey. That's odd. I didn't notice that. Like it's like there's her name and then like care so of So does that like the presiding overseer or something? They don't call uh, that now though. They call it something else, don't they? Uh the coordinator. Coordinator. But I don't know that name. Unless that's a new hmm. person that's there. That's yeah, odd. I mean they usually put the hall's address. I remember there was a lot of um yeah. Controversy over that when I lived in South Dakota. Like, yes, the, and they completely changed that. You are not supposed to use the Kingdom Hall's address on your stuff anymore, which is why she has her. Because other why? people were like, "Well, I don't know if I want to use my personal address." You know? Right? Why would you? Want, if you're not supposed to use a Kingdom Hall address, why would you want to use your own? Right? Why doesn't that send up red flags? Don't put our address on it. Which and now another coincidentally something just that brings up red flags uh, coming up in the June announcements that they're going to have. If, if you have posted any links to any articles, pictures, anything from like JW.org, JW Library, anything, remove them. You cannot post links to anything on social media. Which, to be fair, they originally said that to begin with, and people just don't fucking listen, and JW's have just been doing it. But they've legitimately always said, don't post links to stuff. And so wow. even when I was in, I would call people out on not like mildly. I'd be well, like, when they're directing hey, you back to their website, like right. So why well, wouldn't you? It makes and they kind of use that as like we'll talk a little bit, but if like you have anything, any questions, any like contradictions, eh, go to our website. Like there's always being directed. Back. Like I don't want to think for myself, and I don't want to mm -hmm. tell yeah. you. Like I don't want to converse here. Let's eh, just kick it back to the website. Right. Yeah. Why? Is, I don't know. That's. Well, because now they are going bonkers, like suing people for copyright infringement. So apparently the um, the final music video from the upcoming summer convention, like, leaked. Like, you could actually, you can watch, like, right now we could go on YouTube and you could watch the actual... Oh, and it leaked because there's high-ups that are apostates that they don't know of because right. their God is not protecting their fucking organization. Right. Oh, weird. No, no, <laughs> yeah. strange. Oh. Crazy. Mm. So, yeah, they, they went nuts. And they posted, like, eight. But here's what's funny. They are not posting, like, it's protected under the DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. It's basically the don't pirate music law. So, but it also covers any copyrighted material and there's different, you can have takedowns or you can have subpoenas. Subpoenas. <laughs> so if you, if you post a takedown, that's what John Cedars got Wait, hit no. with. A right? <laughs> Fucking grownups. That's right. <laughs> Boys have a penis. <laughs> Girls have a vagina. Um, <laughs> there's your anatomy lessons, kids. <laughs> I can go no more. Jeez, that brings like... up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember there was like a young kid when I when I was younger, but he was like three or something, and he had learned the actual uh, words. Anatomy. Uh, so yeah, like, that, like, like penis like, and vagina. Okay. And so he was running around. And Good was, job. I'm so proud of you. He was wow. saying to adults Good at job. the Kingdom Hall, "I have a penis." Fairly innocent. He's just like, I learned this. I have a penis. That was good for talk him. of the fucking Kingdom Hall for a month. Oh, you should. I'm saying he's got a penis. Can you believe that they were telling that? Blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, well, the that facts actually, of that's, life. Oh, right. Yeah. That's pretty normal. That's I've, I've, I've always had really <laughs> very so, blunt conversations about that. Knows. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we know, bud. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're just excited, you know? <laughs> right? You know there's a name for this. <laughs> <laughs> See what I got. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. <laughs> anyways uh, so, oh, anyway, so some penis or takedowns. <laughs> so yeah, take you, <laughs> so a DMC take takedown. Down, yeah. <laughs> City slams. Uh, <laughs> uh, takedowns <laughs> so where are we going with this okay anyway i think cedars actually got hit with a dmc takedown request and that's when they go this violates copyright take wait that a minute they've line. been they've been playing that game for a while yeah. right uh, yeah but so what they're trying they, to take they're trying to take down apostate websites right and yeah. YouTube so, channels and, okay but yeah. so what they're doing and they have takedowns or subpoenas and the takedown just 
take that video off. Don't show that anymore. Okay, shut down. Or the subpoena is, we want to know who posted that. Like they're actually going after the people behind it. They're not even saying, shut this down. Mm -hmm. And this is their leaked video from the convention. So they obviously don't give a shit that that really got out. Mm -hmm. They give a shit about who let it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like they're not even saying, shut that off. Yeah, right. right. That's what they were saying. They probably in the governing body, maybe. I'm well, sure. I mean, okay, yeah. from like a business <laughs> standpoint, it makes sense. Right. right. Also, when you're trying to control things, you're exactly, trying to track yeah. down mm-hmm. who's leaking stuff. Right. Yeah. You gotta and they shut down this. the dude. Uh, I thought Jehovah was supposed to do that. Yeah. Why doesn't he just protect his copyright? He's not as strong mm-hmm. as YouTube, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, YouTube is pretty powerful. I, right. I, I get it. Yeah. He might have been able to do it on like Yahoo videos or shit. Like back in the day. <laughs> he could probably take that. Yeah. But YouTube's tough. He could have asked Jeeves or something. He might have been able to ask Jeeves oh, to help. Oh, I him. forgot about ask Jeeves. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Hotbot? Do you ever use that for a search engine? I used that when I was in like high school. Hotbot. Hotbot. Yeah. H O T B O T. Bing. Yeah. 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 It seemed like Ask Jeeves was more of a thing though when we were in high school. Yeah. I never really understood that. Us old people compared to you. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely seemed like at least by the time Bing came around, Google already had the search engine. Yeah, it was there. Yeah, like, why thing. are you even mm-hmm. trying to? Well, now but, just to get bought out by Google. I mean, I guess <laughs> I, honestly, build a solid product with yeah. a competitor that has deep pockets. Sure, yeah. why not? <laughs> there's a, a there's another one that's growing lately. Uh, it's, uh, Duck Duck Go, but it's, it's Grey Duck. It's a great. <laughs> it's a you're, fucking goose. All you're right? in Minnesota. <laughs> they are right. It's a fucking goose. <laughs> so, Damn God. I will fight. <laughs> Just throw the table. Uh, no, but it's really popular amongst um, honestly conservatives, Republicans, are huge into it because supposedly they say it's not tracking this and that or the other, and it's like a whole thing. Like, oh, you shouldn't be using Google because it's going to... Like... And look, yeah, I get it. Every fucking website you sign into is taking your information. They oh, all yeah. have it already. Yeah, Just don't be silly. Yeah, <laughs> like, Come on. Yeah. You carry a fucking tracker in your pocket 24 really? hours a day. <laughs> You can ask the tracking device to give you directions. You don't even like, have to ask. You just talk about it and then pull it up two minutes later and it'll yeah. give it to you. It's mm-hmm. creepy. I don't even remember that was the give weird. It to you. Give it to I can't you. remember what that was that we were talking about the other day. And I was like, see? It's <laughs> pots up, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a, that was the joke is when I went and got my first shot, they like put, did they put like a little band aid on before? Yep. Like, and then they through push the through. Yep. See, that's where the microchip has to be located. It's oh. in Wait, the band. What? They put a band aid on first yeah. and then went through the band. Are you serious? It, it's got like a translucent center and then they like go through the translucent center. But just kind Is of. Is that to make sure they had the, like, the right location? I, I think it's the location and the key. Yeah, the blood just put some or whatever. But, yeah. And yeah. I think it's like it, it, it contains blood when it comes back. And a microchip. And a microchip. You got Probably. it. He pushes the microchip, okay. so you don't think the microchip is in the needle. It's in your band aid. Right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh my. All right. <laughs> I'll bite. How the fuck does it get in your skin? <laughs> they push it in there <laughs> with the needle. <laughs> it must be a super microchip. Yeah, it's super small. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like, like a <laughs> tiny chip. How'd that go again? Yeah, tiny. It's a little micro. I know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, yeah. So, Man, we really strayed on this yeah, conversation. Yeah, there's takedowns and oh, subpoenas. That's uh, normal. Yeah, we normal. were talking about letters. Yep. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's kind of odd. Like, that, uh, I don't know. I think I only wrote one letter. What? I think I only wrote one right letter time. when I was Shit. about 10 years old. I you did a lot of them. I wrote one to my grandma when I was like 11 or 12 because I was pioneering that summer. And I didn't quite have my time in. And mom and dad were like, you got to get your time. Write letters or something. It was like a Sunday. It was like the last day of the month. And I was like, no, you got to get your time in. You, you made a promise that you would get your... I'm like, 
I'm fucking 12. I witnessed at school. Just That's like, all you oh had to God. say. Yeah, I witnessed at school. I did take that more seriously, right. though. I did. I did do that. You were, My you own liked territory. Witnessing? Or? Uh, I don't know if I liked it, but I felt like it was the right thing. So, like, I was kind of into it as a teenager. <laughs> no, more like because I think it was, um, it, it makes me different than other people. Yeah. And I wasn't afraid to be different. Yeah. I think that maybe had a little more to do with it. I mean, like, well, I remember even telling my friends, what will you do if I show up at your door one day? It might oh, happen. God. That was they'd be my like, worst nightmare. Yeah, it happened so a couple times. It's almost yeah. like I wanted to, uh, oh, I can't think how to explain it. Like, I wanted to be like, that could probably happen, so I'm going to cut it off. Like, like that. prep them for it? Yeah, oh, be like, to be like, <laughs> bring it up right yeah, away. Yeah, just be like, just break the ice. Yeah. You know? Like, what if that happened? You know, like, hey, prepare them. That might happen. So it's not right. like a big shock for me either, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, so I just kind of like, oh, I'll take control of the situation. What if? <laughs> <laughs> Not only do I talk to you in school, but what if I show up on your doorstep? Yeah, on a Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. That's, ah. that's kind of how I was. Oh, give me chills. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. So my friend uh, James, who I've been talking to a little bit from Texas, mm -hmm. who qu I'm going to Texas in September. So we are going to, him and I, we always... Uh, listened to and joked about the Jerky Boys. Ooh. Like, yeah. familiar with the Jerky Boys? Uh, they did like old, like, prank phone call. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, super yeah. dirty, like, just filthy. And then there was a movie that is. Filthy. Yeah, it's not like quality filmmaking, but for teenage boys, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and so we would always joke about it and everything throughout high school. He, he sent me a screenshot. He's like, dude, they're doing a live show in San Antonio, like, where he lives in September. And I do, that'd be sweet. And so then him and I had actually ended up, this was I don't know, a few weeks ago, a month ago, that he sent me this screenshot. And then him and I ended up on the phone last week and we were just talking and bullshit. And then it's like, yeah, let's do it. And he's like, all right. He's like, I'm in. And I was like, you know, just tell me what, you know, tell me what you need for tickets. He's like, tickets are on me. I'm like, all right, shit. He's like, he's like, you driving, flying. He's like, I got plenty of points. Let me see if I can get you a flight. I was like, <laughs> okay, so we'll see what happens. But he texts me back a little bit later. He's like, "Well, we got box seats." He's like, "He's like, I figured it's the best way for a couple of fellas to experience a night full of dick and fart jokes." <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, so that's what we're gonna do. So, like, they just call up places like live. On stage I'm not sure how the live. I don't know. I'm not sure how it's gonna be live, but it'll be neat. Yeah, no kidding. But you like reconnected with him. After you were leaving or during or, or while, because he's uh, not a witness. He is not a witness. He was never in. Uh, he was raised Catholic. And so when I moved back from Texas, so I grew up in Nebraska, lived there till I was in one town till I was 10, moved to Alliance till I was 13. We moved to Texas, lived in San Antonio for a year ish or so, back to the town that I grew up in. So when I was 13, 13, I think, we moved back to Ogallala. And just moving back from San Antonio, I met this uh, in my civics class. And his name was James, and he's like, "Hey, where are you from?" I was like, "Oh, just moved back here from San Antonio." He's like, "Oh shit, I'm from Texas. I grew up in Houston." And so we kind of we kind of bonded over ha both having lived in Texas, and we were super good friends, like clear through like the rest of eighth grade, through middle, high school, everything. Like we were the ones that hung out together daily. Like he was a good dude. Mm -hmm. uh, lost touch with him after high school, and. Could never meet up with him again. Crazy story how him and I actually reconnected. So this was before like Facebook, Twitter, everything. Like there wasn't social media. The closest thing to that was email. Like that was the best you had. And oh, I didn't have MSN Messenger. Oh man, I don't think I had him on Messenger because we were just at school every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, no, I I was like, man, I should try to track him down. And so then, like Facebook and Twitter had become a thing. So I started checking there occasionally. Like we graduated in 01 and I would try to like look Google him, you know, throughout the years, like you know, once or twice a year, whatever, up until like 2009, somewhere around there. And I was like, I'm going to give this one last shot to try to track him down, see what he's up to. Cause I, like, Hey, what's James up to? And couldn't find anything, nothing on Facebook, nothing on Twitter, anything went home. I was like, well, fuck it, whatever. Went home from work. Came back to work the next day. 
I had an email from his brother, like his little brother, who I've also not seen in eight plus years. And he's like, hey, I don't know if you remember me. This is Daniel. I'm Jay's little brother. Mm -hmm. Just thought I'd send you his contact information, phone number, email address, and shit if you ever wanted to get in touch with him. <laughs> what? You sent it out to the universe. <laughs> he answered. Apparently. Thanks, universe. There. I mean, that's kind of It was cool, odd. Though, it was super like... weird because I had literally, and I like, yeah, it was super weird because I literally was like, this is the last time I'm going to do it. If I can't connect with him, fuck it. Yeah. I gave it a shot. And his little brother emails me the next day. Weird. Dude, that is weird because, like, now you get to – I feel like all of us have, like, a couple friends from the past, like high school or even yeah. earlier. Where it's like, man, if I wasn't stuck in a cult, we could have been, like, best buddies. Dude. I have a few of those. And yeah. it's, like, shitty because, I mean, they don't I, – I tried to witness, witness to them or something like that. And it's yeah. like, we don't talk anymore. Like. I wouldn't talk to somebody that's trying to pull me into a cult either. Right. But it's like, I'm not in it anymore. But at the same time, it's been like 20 years. Yeah, right. So I'm not yeah. going to really like. We were talking about that today. Hey, this was like 20 dude. year. But it's kind of cool because you still think about those people. You know, like, yeah. I wonder what they're doing or whatever. I've kept in contact with very few. I mean, yeah. some I'm also just Facebook friends with now. Or I've actually met up with them. Yeah. And talked. Um, I've talked to a couple. Even though I was still in. There's one in particular that I, I checked in with every once in a while. But it's been nice since I've been out how different the conversation can be. Yeah, right? Where I, just, right. Where I feel even just like more mature. <laughs> I can have like more of a mature conversation with uh, my friend. I'm sure she notices it too. But, um, <laughs> now it's been forever since we reconnected. I remember she was helpful when I was first leaving too. I, that was that was um, important when I was first leaving is trying to reconnect with some of these old friends and leaning on them and just trying to like make new connections and mm -hmm. look, look at things from a different perspective yeah. than uh, when you were in. So it's, it's been interesting. Or even like we talk about <laughs> looking at relationships from the outside in like, like, like now that you're out and like as each year passes, I feel like I can process it more. I, I don't know. We were even talking about that today. About we talk about it frequently, I should say, it's like <laughs> about the different relationships you saw within the congregation, like married people. Yeah. And now realizing when you're out, how many of them are so unhealthy. Like, holy crap! Like we can only list maybe a couple. They were like, yeah, they're unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. I think we came up with two, maybe three. And were they and like? Were they like we were like fringe oh. couples too. Like they were. No. They came and they went and we're related. <laughs> you, me, we're you're related to one of them. No, no, never mind. I'm related to one of them. Other side of the family. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> so I gotta think about that. No, yeah. uh, <laughs> he's using Carrie's, the Carrie's <laughs> uncle. You're thinking, thinking. Oh, I think yeah. they have. I think they They're have like a decent, together, good yeah. relationship. Yeah, so like, it's, like it's okay. Yeah, and the other ones were. Uh, so you ran into brother at the brewery. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think they, they were because they're both very kind of almost <laughs> uppity. But we even talked yeah. about that a but little bit earlier work, today. Yes. I think, yeah. honestly, I think a lot of hers just came from him. I think it was, I think he kind of made her more, and I don't want to say like forced her to be like just by association and just like over time i think she became more materialistic and whatnot like that but My not like dated. overbearing oh that's right yeah. i forgot about that you did for mom yeah really yeah. that's funny i didn't know God, everything's so intertwined it's just, <laughs> dang, that's dang, awesome. dang. well yeah <laughs> so yeah. yeah but there i mean there's really not a lot is there I, I really haven't gone back and thought about that. I mean, like the dating pool? Just no, no. Re just relationships. Oh, relationships. Like, how <laughs> like, yeah, there's not many options. Yeah, not many options. Yeah. Yeah. Dating pool, no, not at all. But yeah, no, they were fine. Mm -hmm. What and how does it? <laughs> Wasn't picking up. We're <laughs> <laughs> just fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> picking up on your room. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty insane. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah. when we were talking yeah. about like kids, like in the congregation and stuff, where like kids don't stick around anymore. And that, and we were kind of talking about that this morning because, like, my kids and stuff, and I'm like, you know, like, kind of, 
like I'm stressed about it and shit and worried about it and understandably so. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm at the point where, cause I had a conversation. I don't know if I even told you, but I had a conversation with my mm. youngest, uh, with my youngest a couple weeks ago and it seemed to go real well. And then it didn't <laughs> like, I don't like it. Like it ended well, thought it was fine. Gave her a hug, kiss, good night, love you. Went to bed. And how much should I talk about? I don't even know if it's, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so don't anyway, know. it's tricky right now. Yeah. So anyway, I will just say that there was. I don't even want to necessarily call it an incident, but it was a there was a thing unpleasant <laughs> Unex- unpleasant experience uh, the next morning that kind of maybe put a little, she did something that was inappropriate. Not like, oh my God, how did this kid, do? it was just kind of like. He was that, just reacting to it. It was a reaction, yeah. yeah. And I was like, that was a poor move. Understandable, but like, you, you can't do that. And so anyway, I had to let her mother know about it and just be like, hey, I was like, can you talk to her a little bit? And just make sure she knows you can't do that. And like we, you know, because we are her parents, we kind of have to go back and forth about this stuff. And so yeah. just let me know. Which, and, and she texted me <clears> back <throat> or emailed me back later. And it was just like, it was nothing. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. And even just the way she responded was more, I don't know, a little more snarky. It was more like, it was almost like a mind your business kind of to yeah. an extent. Yeah, I don't know. It was almost like it's not your business. It was fine, and and she was it's just clearly upset like a about, warning sign of someone is. She's upset about talking to you. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. She she, she, she just said she hope was, they kind of, you know that they just um yeah come around. Yeah, that eventually they'll well, they'll and be like, okay. We've talked about it a little bit, but I mean they're going through a lot of shit mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean like like I said, not only is her not only is there parents getting divorced but their father is leaving what he raised them in right. and all this stuff and it's not mm-hmm. your fault it's mm-hmm. because you realized oh this is wrong mm-hmm. and you changed it instead of just kind of going with the flow mm-hmm. yep. that's exactly but, what i talked talking to sue my landlord last night i was like and unfortunately i taught them to be this way right to mm-hmm. an extent like i kind of tried to stop that even when like they were 10 and younger but even by then, like it's ingrained into your head that this is what you do. Yeah. So, but it's like I was telling her, like it's coming to the point where honestly, yeah, kids don't stick around. No. And a, like, especially around like Blue Earth, I don't know any kids that are still in. Like, there's very few that have stuck around from there. Right. And so the statistic I remember, even when I was living in Wisconsin, I remember a talk about like this is way back when I was a nanny and like mm-hmm. was married. And, like, um, they were saying like seven out of ten kids, their raised witnesses leave. Really? Yeah. At that time. So yeah, this I is would, like wow. What is this like? And I, honestly, I would guess how like how long eight, ago was that? Like, I would say like eight or nine out of ten leave now. Yeah. 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 So then my own kids, I just try. I just try to be as just be realistic. Re- with as them. realistic and authentic. reasonable and and open, but trying to like let them can just know that like I'm here. Because they're watching your guys' lives, you know, mm-hmm. even if you think they're not. Mm-hmm. As oh, long as sure. you're living the, the way you want to live and you're happy and all this stuff, they're going to notice the differences between yeah. the in-parent and the out-parent. Obviously, the out, well, hopefully, the out is far more happy. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there's circumstances. Where well, they even, like, true, they even know, like, my, even talking with my oldest, like I, I said that I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up being a... Uh, homosexual or something you know like i can i can see him he's got a quirk to him i've always thought that i could be totally wrong today and i don't even like yeah (laughs) he's just (laughs) and i have always told him uh, especially once i left like we reassure him i will be here for you and he know like he acknowledges that and he it's also acknowledged at least you know in the past that he knows his dad won't yeah like he he knows that and so I'm always like, no, my, like just don't kill anyone, please. Like, please just don't. <laughs> right. just, don't kill anyone. <laughs> I, right. I might have to draw yeah, the line there a little bit. <laughs> don't you, make me have to decide. Yes. <laughs> but just like, if you want to just live your life and you're a good, decent person, I'm gonna be here for you. Right. But they so they know that. Yeah. And that and that helps them kind of 
I think navigate through life a little bit. Just even though I even told no, I told her that. Yeah. <laughs> like specifically about that. I'm like, because we talked about people that are gay. Like that's how you're born. Like it's not you don't choose when you turn ten or twelve or whenever your balls drop or whenever you get your beard. Like it's just you you're attracted to who you're attracted to. And I told her, I was like, and that's fine. I was like, from what I gather, it seems like you and your sister are attracted to boys. It's fine. And if you're not, that's fine. I don't care. And she's like, I like this. I'm like, well, good for you. And that could change. That could change. Right? And I told her, I'm like, I'm like, well, good. I'm like, as long as you're doing what you feel is right and you're attracted and you love who you feel you should love, do it. And yeah. you treat them well. Yeah. So what? Don't overthink it. Yeah, yeah. Like, so what? And I told him, like, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I'll support you whatever you do we as your own authentic lifestyle. self. Right. So, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. But like, so, and again, it comes back to they'll figure it out, hopefully, and just kind of let it ride. And realistically, at this point, my oldest was 16 a couple months ago. Yeah. It's like, not much. like, by the time all of this gets processed and done, I might have a year dealing with like child support and all that. Like, I'm all like, and yeah. I'm not trying to break it down to financial matters, but like right. just breaking it down into logistics. Like realistically, I've got a a year and a half ish of making sure that this human like grows into a good adult, you know, and they just do their own thing. Yeah. And so I'm like I'm at the point where it's like I'm fine with even taking a step back and just going, you guys do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. You know, we can figure out you know, custody and everything. And it's fine. And it'll be what it is. And just kind of let them make their own move and you know, go from there. Mm -hmm. Gotta be Zen, man. Mm -hmm. Aloof. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just kind of whatever happens, happens. And it's not as like, I, I don't stress or worry about it nearly as much. Right. And I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to go with the flow of it being just, especially action. with your, well, cause I mean, you said earlier too, like you just, or maybe that was when we were in the car. I don't remember if it was in the car or if it was earlier when we were recording here, but you said something earlier along the lines of like, eventually you find out who's going to be there in your life and who's not. And like, you kind of go, yep, yep. Nope. It's kind of like the half baked, like, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> You're cool. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. And I'm out. Like it's, <laughs> it's not quite like that. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's, but you do, you determine like who's going to be there and who isn't. And realistically, you, to not sound like you're just abandoning your kids or sounding crass about it, you kind of hedge your bets with what with right. what gets you through. And you let them sort it out on their own. And like I said, what happens, happens. I've got maybe a year with and maybe three with yeah. And they'll figure it out and just... They're your kids, but not everything's in your control. Right. Kind of the that's, kind of, yep. that's a hard thing to be attached and detached at the same time. Right. When you're dealing, when, when you're a parent that has left this, you always have that in the back of your mind mm -hmm. that they could ditch you at any time. Because, like, I'm disfellowshipped and that happens. You know, like, you know that at any point they could decide, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. Because you're just fellowshipped. Or, I mean, you can go the other way too to be like, hey, I want to hear more about this. But, like, to just understand that you need to be there for them, but at the same time, accept your consequences that you left the religion they're still in. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it's, it's a fine line. It's like, it's yeah. just, and it's, it's just super tough balancing because, act. Yeah. Well, and it's super tough because, like you said, you made the choice to leave, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the wrong thing to do. Like, you figured it out and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Right. But you've raised them a certain way. So again, so you got to look at their perspective. Yep. Of their that, perspective of how it is, feels to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of, you still have to validate what they're thinking, even though it's, unfortunately, it's fucked. Like it's just, <laughs> it's a weird, it's not right, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. So you kind of go, okay, well, and just, you know, even in the last weeks, month, like it's just kind of like things have just kind of like, well, you know, whatever. And whatever. it's kind of just where I'm at. You know, mm -hmm. and I've and I, I actually had a long conversation with my mom last week, so and that went well, ish. You yeah. know, we 
conversations with her. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start crying. You mean no rock one? Yeah. All right. It's going to start coming on my tear ducts. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go so bad. Because <laughs> I forgot about the long story. We can hear you making a tinkle. <laughs> I'm leaving this in. <laughs> so if you much. shake it more than twice... <laughs> I, wonder the, I wonder if the microphone picked it up. I hope so. <laughs> it's staying in. I don't give a shit. <laughs> hey, July 4th, Verizon Wireless Center in Houston. We're going to concert July 4th. How's that? I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you could relieve me. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Now, like, having, now I'm like, Damn it, you're right. I kind of got it. <laughs> it's like a sneeze. It's contagious. I was yeah. kind of like, well, it's something. You broke the seal. Or yawn. I mean, I'm sorry. I meant yawn. Not, not sneeze. And yawn is yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> Unless you steal it. You go like this, yeah. right? While they're yawning. And, yeah. yeah, steal your soul. Yeah. So, yeah. So, talk to mom. And it was okay. Conversations with her, a lot of times they start out kind of like, oh, okay. And then she just gets pissed because she'll say something. Like, she'll bring something up. Yeah. And I'll be like, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about it. And then she ends up pissed. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you brought it up. Sorry. But uh, I would just shut up. When mom would bring something up, I'd just be like, oh, sure. That's all I say. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go down that road because I know you don't want to hear what I have to say. Mm -hmm. So I'm not even going to try. Yeah. It's like a <laughs> fine balance with my mom and it has gotten, so like, and it's gotten to where like with this conversation, it kind of, every once in a while things will seem to get like maybe a bit heated. Like it's like, it's kind of ramping up a little bit and we were actually on the phone and <laughs> my mom, she's like, she's like, were we just having a really good conversation for 20 minutes and then it all just went to shit? And I'm like, yeah. I didn't think so. I thought we're still having a good conversation. <laughs> but it's like, that's the way they feel if it's not the phrase that I always use to say, like, it's not like uh, sunshine and rainbows. Like, it's, right. It's just kind of like you're supposed to just like shut it all down and you're not supposed to get it out. Because well, they don't want to have debates. Unpleasant. Exactly. Debates are not acceptable. Conversation yeah. is fine, but debates are no. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. second it starts questioning or like you want to get like a back and forth. Cause you even talk about that. Like when you're supposed to be going door to door and you, know, you want to get the people's viewpoint, you want to go back and forth, but you don't really want that. No, you literally, you want to get their viewpoint enough in the context of their prospect. And you want to be like, how can I angle this? To yeah. mm -hmm. That's it. So, but no, I told mom, I was like, well, no, I think this is still a good conversation. This is like, I thought this was getting good because we're talking about differences. We're talking about things that we disagree with, but we're talking about them. Yeah. I'm like, and that's what it should be. We shouldn't have to be pissed off because we think and believe different things. I don't believe in your God. I don't like your religion. Fine. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Like we can still hang out. We can still like. I can still be your son. Right. And so, and it kind of, I don't know, the conversation went pretty well. There, were, it was like some ups and downs where she would get pissed off and I'd kind of like explain myself kind of, and we'd just, we'd kind of work through it a little bit. And then we ended it like on a peaceful note. And, but mm -hmm. I don't remember why we ended up talking about mom so much, but it was essentially, that's kind of one of the latest things that's been going on. Cause that was just, yeah. A couple days ago. Yeah, he's it was like this Wednesday. Shot and like Wednesday, Tuesday, went Wednesday. better than expected. Like yeah, an hour and forty minutes. Yeah, hour and fifty like something. something. I like. I literally walked into a conference room at work because I needed to call her to verify her uh, birthday. And your like, mom's birthday. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. not you. Yeah, we well, like looked at me like, wait, me? What? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> for although it's the same birthday. Like, coincidentally, yeah, same birthday, same birthday, birthday as my mom. Oh really? Yeah, we share a birthday. Apparently, I didn't know that. <laughs> Dude, so, Pan is <laughs> Pan is October 11th. My mom is March 11th. Olivia is October 27th. And I always think that Pan is March 27th. <laughs> oh, it's all my kids. I like, got my kids. I, mean, oh my I always say there is some legal document out there where my two youngest are flipped. Like the, the actual, like the date, not the month. Like oh, the date. yeah. <laughs> That's why people get their kids' birthdays tattooed <laughs> on their arms. <laughs> like, 
It's because I can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, so I don't know. It, it went okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I talked to her again, like a couple text messages back and forth later this week. And those were kind of like, Mm. Those are kind of rural. They were a little. <laughs> she was a little bit more short, but yeah. Yeah, whatever. She was. She has not been pissy. She's not been. She's been all right. Like it's been pretty decent conversation. I've been pretty happy with that the last week. Maybe she's just thinking. Mm-hmm. She's doing. Mm-hmm. And she did. She's to be fair, she even this. said like she asked me because she's going to. Uh, she's going to go visit my oldest brother in Colorado. And she was like, well, I was thinking about taking the girls back with me, but I wouldn't do it without your permission. Like, is it okay if they come back with me? And I told her straight up, I was like, I don't like it. Like, I don't want them to go to my brother's house. But I'm not going to tell you no, because then I just look like an asshole and I'm bitter and this and that. But these are the reasons that I would not like them to be at my brother's house. But you have my permission if they want to go, if their mother's fine with it. Sure. Yeah. Like I'm going to be reasonable, even though I disagree. And she, I, she appreciated that. And so she, even as we were closing the conversation, she's like, well, you know, I'll check with, I'll, I'll check with Carrie and see what she thinks. And I'll let you know, because Carrie's flat out told me like their whereabouts are none of my concern. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the fuck they are. right. I'm kind of like, um, I think you're wrong. For sure. Legally they are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I was like, well, okay. And she's like, my mom was like, well, I'll just ask her, do you think we need to check with Tyler to get his permission before I take them to Colorado and see what she says? And she never texted me back. And maybe she never even talked to Carrie because she kind of changed plans and she ended up leaving yesterday, I think. And she was going to have to take off early and wasn't going to be able to bring him anyway. Oh. So she might not have even asked. But that would have been oh, that would have been interesting. And here's if the thing: Carrie I said no. Then your mom's like, mm. but this was this was like Tuesday or Wednesday when whatever I sent you that, and yeah. she she's like, I'll I'll text Carrie tonight and I'll let you know what she says. Well, and it was like a couple days later when it was decided that she wasn't going to be like around long enough, and she was taken off yesterday. And I'm like, so did she actually text Carrie? And Ask then you. and then when it I could. Yeah, you could. Did you ever ask, Gary? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This. Because, well, I <laughs> I offered. I was like, I don't know if the girls would like to, but me and Amanda are going to be out in Colorado over the fourth holiday. Like, if they want to ride with us, we're going to be in Denver. That's an hour for you. We can meet easily. Yeah. They're going to be at like an hour. At, no, it might be two hours south of Denver. But it's a hell of a lot less than the 16 hours away it is from here. 15. So... <laughs> Yeah, several right. hours. Twelve hours. <laughs> to Safe to say. Yeah, yeah. Many a hours. hours south from there. Oh. So yeah, it's <laughs> it's all. It's of, actually twelve hours, thirty six minutes, forty <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I did find out taking the Nebraska cut down through takes fifteen minutes longer than if you come down through Omaha. Oh, dude, the so, uh, the Wyoming South Dakota. I mean, it's like an hour longer or something, but it's so much prettier. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, you grew up in Nebraska, yeah. but for those of us who didn't, right? God, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fuck that place. Wyoming is so <laughs> beautiful, right? <laughs> yeah, but now uh, it's when you get back to Western Nebraska, you get up like in the hills, then it's all right. But yeah, the first, the first, like part, the sand hills are right. like they're pretty in their own way, as much as like brown deserty looking hills can be. <laughs> but like then we got the lake back there provides a lot of nice sand beach so sure. no we're gonna go back to uh we're gonna go to denver over the fourth and we're gonna go blues traveler we'll see blues traveler oh, at red rocks freaking kick him in the nuts for us yeah <laughs> he was supposed to play here <laughs> down at Ankato, and they had to have emergency next or yeah fucking popper <laughs> god god we do that Jesus. Uh, it's, it's, really dude, sick. it's gonna be yeah, it'll <laughs> oh, be fun. man, I've liked them since the two Tell you. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I that we were planning, I haven't heard back from her. I've got a friend in Brighton, so like in northern suburb of Denver. She's a tattoo artist now. Very good work. Like she's she's good shit. And so I messaged her, sent her some designs and stuff. She's like, Yeah, she's like, I can get you in the day after on Monday the fifth. Like, 
you know, coming at noon. Does that work for you? I plan to get my first tattoo. You can get you a first tattoo? tattoo. I don't. Isn't really? That, isn't that incredible? Yeah, I just figured by the nose piercing. You're yeah, I know. You think, yeah, you I like think that. You a butterfly that. on your ankle or a something. A butterfly on my ankle. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry. Go back to someone. <laughs> what do you get? That has that. Um, well, my my plan. A couple ideas. Yeah, we had a couple yeah. ideas. I have a couple ideas for some tattoos, but I think the one we're gonna go with for this particular situation, so it's simple, is um, I want to get an outline of like a penny for a few different reasons. Oh yeah, it's um, kind of a lucky penny. Yeah, yeah. kind of like a lucky penny thing. Uh, a few different reasons that go into that. Um, up. Yep, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then instead of, <laughs> instead of it saying you know in god we trust i want to say in me i trust or something right, like that. Uh, like my birth year and it still has liberty on it and I'm trying to figure out the location <laughs> i am leaning towards maybe i will do my wrist i don't know it's like a little i reminder. think that's a little reminder honestly. myself a little reminder myself hmm? like on the bottom yeah i don't know like some i don't know i yeah. think i think that would be awesome honestly yeah i hadn't even thought about that till you mentioned it earlier i was like oh yeah that'd be a good spot yeah like and it's kind of like I like where like you and I kind of got ours. You got yours on the outside, yeah. But like I don't know, like I kind of like mine's just like always visible. Like it's kind of just always there, right? So I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> and then so there's yeah. So there's, and then I have some other ideas for tattoos. I'm still trying to figure out where I'd want them. Right. On. But I but I'm kind of like the anomaly now, where like everybody has tattoos and I still have none. But I know people would think that because of my nose piercing, but. <laughs> But like, like surprise! You were, well, you were saying earlier, like with face tattoos, you're like, just get it on your face. And she was, so you even talked to, like, work. You even asked them, like, well, not on my face. No, I don't want to on your face. I do not want a face tattoo. No, I asked because you asked about like hands or yeah, like hands. I mean, technically, professionally, yeah, I should, I should be able to cover my tattoo, especially since I'm a nurse. But, uh, but, uh, my boss is kind of like, well, my advice is, you know, which how she phrase that? Don't do anything that's going to hinder you from. Yeah, and like in your and your and professional your career, clients might be okay now, but think even 10, 20 years down the road. Yeah, but tattoos are becoming very yeah. commonplace on, <laughs> so to me, I'm like, on more visible places. Like before, you yeah. know, you couldn't really if you were in my no. profession, mm -hmm. but now it's you know, well, even got, doctors have them. It's like, right, when yeah. I got, I think, did I tell you that when I got my knuckles tattooed the first time because I got them done twice, get them filled back in because mm. the skin's so rough, but. When I got him done the first time, I asked him because I'm like, oh, you're going to give me shit because I'm not like fully sleeved out, you <laughs> like know, just... when I'm getting my knuckles done. He's like, honestly, man, like maybe like four years ago, I might have steered you away. But I've had a few people come in and both of them were going to their new jobs at the same hospital. They didn't know each other. But in their interviews, they asked, well, I'm planning on getting my hand tattooed. You know, like a tattoo onto my hand. Is that okay? And both of them were told that no, that's completely fine. So, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Which is a uh, which. But even for my profession, I started thinking. Um, yeah, she didn't say I couldn't, but um, also when I think about like my job, I wash my hands a lot. The healing process. So I should probably condition. have you know like where it's not me just constantly. Yeah, because I think that's probably what she said. That, like is hopefully it won't hinder your work or whatever. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, when I did these, it's like, well, I work with my <laughs> you hands work with your hands yeah. all the time. Yeah. So it's, I get that, definitely. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, you don't want to be, like, wiping old man butt and you got fresh wounds on your hands or something. Yeah. First of all, I work, <laughs> in, woman first of all, yeah. I work in pediatrics. <laughs> so it's not. So little kid oh. butts. Yeah, little kid butts. <laughs> well, poop yeah. is poop at the end of the day. You don't <laughs> want it in the poop will get you. wounds. Yeah. Poop will get you every time. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. for the record, I feel like women can pull off nice face tattoos better than men. True. I do think that. Because you wear makeup more often anyways. And it just kind of looks... Not just one. Blends it. Huh? I hardly ever wear makeup, but anyway. Well, whatever. You wear makeup more than me. <laughs> okay, that's valid. Yeah. That's like valid. more than most dudes. <laughs> true. Like true. More than the majority of men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. but one, uh, one thing I forgot I was going to bring up, it's like completely switches subject though, but, um, but it kind of goes in line with your mom. You talked to your mom. I've been on the fence to like, even if I want to talk about it, but I don't know. Yeah. But, um, I, uh, where do I just start? So last week yeah, we last went week, and got some flowers. We went and got plants mm -hmm. from, so I grew up, I grew up on a, a 
uh, chemical free you can say organic the hippie farm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Imagine that I'm a hippie. Anyway, <laughs> look what I came from. Um, anyway, so uh, I, I, I was supposed to be a fifth generation woman farmer that took over that uh, business. Really? Yeah. So I was kind of getting groomed for that. Um, you know, then I decided to leave the religion. So uh, then they they were a little bit supportive. Uh, so they, I think they just kind of thought I was taking a break. But it's like, as the more I, you know, I was getting separated and divorced, uh, and then my boyfriend at that time, he's not really into farming and stuff. So they kind of felt like I had betrayed them with that as well. Uh, because they're like, well, you should have found, if you got divorced and went through all that, you should have found a farmer. Right. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to take this over. <laughs> Poor Bill. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> it'll help but it's not his thing so uh anyway um but then as i started learning more about it it, because i I was still kind of mentally a little bit when i was leaving so by the time i was like i'm done with this and they were starting to realize that um so by that time then it was almost five years ago instead of six because that's when i was first it was six years ago um i should backtrack a little bit kind of triggered this is okay so then tyler and i went and got plants from them they do starter plants uh last weekend to kind of our own little container garden because this year i wasn't going to have um a bigger garden to plant that i used to share with my ex-boyfriend's parents so uh so like what are we going to do like what let's let's figure out our own little garden in right. my place so we did container stuff we went to my parents and we didn't know how that was going to go but they 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 were they were nice. They yeah, they were friendly yeah, and talk, yeah, yeah. talkative-ish. Yeah, it went fine. I will say your mother was a bit standoffish initially, just for like a moment, but like very quickly she got over it. It was it was very pleasant. Yeah, it still yeah. went a lot better than when mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. met um, my other boyfriend. My mom was like, ah, I'm not gonna talk at first. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, they already know you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Which we heard at one point, my my dad said, oh, I like Tyler. Yeah. So, you know, that's not the right thing to think with all this. So, anyway, uh, so we went and got plants. It went fine. You know, and when and I can kind of go back to the story, I guess, of then, you know, five years ago, I had started sharing some apostate stuff online. On the social uh, medias, social media, and so on the like, internet. So my my parents saw that. What the fuck is it? And they, someone told them they saw it, or I don't remember. But like, okay. um, so then they sent me um, a message through Facebook. Uh, I should just read it. Really? <laughs> um, it, was, it was a shunning. Message, it was a shunning message. It was like um, basically that. That saying I become apostate and I was no longer welcome in their home or their lives. I accepted for truth what is untruth, and that they have free will and I have free will. But they said because of this, you're publicly speaking out about Jehovah and everything we know to be true and right. Uh, you're still willing. We'll take care of the grandkids when needed. Um, we'll always love you. But if you need to contact us, please use text message. Because we're going to be unfriending you on Facebook and removing you from our volunteer list. Uh, at least it told me. <laughs> and referred to you not be involved in the family business. Now, at that time, I was pretty much 50 50 with them making <clears throat> plans and everything. Um, we said with heavy hearts, we got to say goodbye. So that was back on April 24th, 2016. So a lot has happened since then. And it was, I would just kind of stay quiet on it. I, I, I still let my kids go there. Some of them have a relationship that's been very strained. But like as time has gone on, they kind of softened. Um, especially my sister's dealt with her um, challenges over time, but she wasn't baptized. So it's kind of this loophole. So, you know, I, and there was times in the past because I I still miss the farm stuff. Like farming's in me. That's a lot of who I am. Uh, That kind of farming. And not like big production farming. No, like like the good farm. Yeah, like the the chemical-free, organic kind of farming. The the self-sustaining. Planting and growing your own shit. (laughs) Yeah. 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 That that is me. And so... um, That's what I've always wanted to do, too. Like, it's just fun. mm -hmm. So, you know, started life over, and eventually I had, you know, I had to leave it behind because of this. And it was kind of strange before they said this anyway. But um, over time, they kind of warmed up to it 
a little bit warmed up to me, kind of got used to me. You were talking to me again. Um, and I kind of thought like, well, maybe they'd let me do a task out there or something. I just kind of want to get, I want to dig in the dirt, you know? Right. Um, but then they take volunteers. They take volunteers. Yeah. kind of run on volunteers. And so, uh, I, I, I just kind of thought, oh, maybe I just, you know, I won't talk to them. I'll just go and do my own thing. But I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't reach out about it. And um, But this time I was like, well, you know, they. it's been five years, almost exactly. Like, I'll try it. Especially they're kind of receptive. Like, they were friendly. Um, I know our situation isn't, like, ideal. <laughs> witness light. It's, it's not or conforming. Even the what they no, no. We're kind of yeah. non-conformist. Anyway, yeah. So. Yeah. anyway, I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll ask if um, it'd be okay if we came and help sometimes, like on the weekends, Tyler and I didn't have much expectation with it anyway, but I still, I texted it. I was like, we'll see what they do. So a couple days go by and they don't say anything. I texted both my parents. So it's always interesting because, you know, my mom wears the pants in the family, but whenever it comes to something like, Supposed to be head of the household, like to deal with me. All of a sudden, it's my dad's responsibility. She'll, she'll make the call and make him be the messenger. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly it. She, uh -huh. she, she directs it, but it comes from my dad. Right. So, uh, anyway, so that's a couple of days, and I, they haven't said anything. Um, then I'm like, so that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a couple of days. Yeah, I'm like, I'm oh. guessing that's a no. <laughs> Because I remember I saw the screenshots, but I didn't realize that was a few days between. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, I said it. Was, oh, <laughs> yeah. You're like, so what? I, 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 I was like, yeah. we might talk about this. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah. then, um, and then it was like another what, another two days or something. It was two days, two days. So like yesterday morning, I finally went. Good <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> With like a I'm thumbs like, up. Good <laughs> chat. Thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, it's like ugh, like you can't. I just oh, I get. And I knew that like, would. Prompt. Oh yeah, that would. I knew that would get them. Mm -hmm. I figured they'd so, say something after that. Yeah. yeah. I was like, all right. So then, of course, almost immediately, my dad said something. He's kind of like, oh, we've been busy and swamped and sure. doctor's appointments doctors. and stuff. And I'm like, like what? I wanted. To, I wanted to say, my mom's fingers are broken. <laughs> yeah. So she couldn't right. say anything this whole time. Huh. Interesting. But uh, but what my dad did. He finally said like, oh, he's like, not this time. You know, kind of thing. So I was like, yeah, thanks for the offer of help, but not yeah, at this time. Yeah, not at this time. So I was like, all right. But it took all that to get a response. So I'm just like, okay, well, now I try. Now I know. Like, I, And I kind of figured it would be the outcome anyway, but I tried. You right. know, like, because it seemed like me was kind of friendly. I'm like, okay, well, yeah. I have my answer there. It's like maybe I try every five years. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but it was one of those things I had to test out because now it had been so long. And, yeah. And, um, it was still the same answer. So I just kind of, all right, well, that's that. And I mean, you never know if it's going to be all that toxic or not, or mm -hmm. I don't know, but I, I tried. I tried well, like more. we said, so. maybe last night or yesterday, I don't, you and I were talking about, it, I, at least like, you know where you stand, like you figure your shit out. Yeah. So, yep. I feel like every time you have to like, <clears throat> you have a hard reset in your yeah. life. And I've definitely had that, uh, last yes. like year or even six months. Or, oh, man. Mm -hmm. Um, you 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 start to see who your friends like who's going to stick around, right? Which we discussed before. This is kind of where that uh -huh. conversation stems from. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and it happened, you know, six five five six years ago. Same thing. You find out, and there's not many. There's not many who are actually going to stick around. Who actually can communicate with you and be like, I am in the trenches with you. Right. So like, I I do have a really good friend that has <laughs> stuck through a lot of stuff with me, and I even tell her, I'm like. I can't, I don't know how you put up with my shit. I can't put up. <laughs> well, it seems so like. So thank you, <laughs> Michelle. It kind of seems like the like, older you get, and like I realize, like, yeah, I'm a little younger than you guys, but the older you get, the more friends that fall off. Mm -hmm. And it's. I'd rather have quality kind of instead of good. quantity anyway. I mean, like, hey, say, you know, from an anatomical level, the older you get, the more synopses your brain's crops, your brain crops out because you can't take all that, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same thing with friends. Like if you still have like fucking dozens and dozens of friends, one, you don't have the time to keep them all as actual right. friends. Mm -hmm. And two, you're probably not being an honest person. You're just kind of a chameleon that forms to whatever those people's viewpoints are because you need attention. Mm -hmm. No, a healthy person will have like 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of friends. Mm-hmm. That's more than I can handle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you do find out who was really there for you. And one thing I forgot to mention with the whole um, farm thing is, um, whoops, is I, <laughs> uh, as I slowly found out, because people knew me on this farm, and uh, I'd kind of become the public face of it. So people are coming through going, where's Amanda? Uh, and so I was like, why are my parents being the handle that? Yeah. Um, and I found out that they were saying that um, I just left them high and dry. Um, I was just this terrible person, basically. Yeah, I just left. The real reason. Yeah, because I can't give, like, how, business. yeah, yeah. Because how would they look if they gave the real, real reason? And I remember even talking to my grandma, because I, I tried to keep her out of it, too. Because um, I didn't, I, I felt bad that she, I, she shouldn't have to deal with that. Like, is this really what they're saying? Like, what I'm hearing? Like, is that is that really what's going on? And she's like, yeah. I have to admit, that's really what's happening. I said, I can show you what they said. <laughs> she's like, no, I believe you. I do. I believe you. She's like, it's it. And she made it like, it's shitty. Yeah. That this, you know, but they had they had to give something public right. that, that would make sense. <laughs> They've got to have a response when people ask. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, yeah. and then again, to be fair. But I also probably wasn't going to have much time. I had to, I had to have... I couldn't be a volunteer, I suppose, really. Anyway, I had to yeah. I had to have a career and you know, a different life. Right. But, right. And it was getting strained because of my religious differences, but sure. Well, but again, and like it goes back to that's what they know. So mm-hmm. even like that mm-hmm. message that you're like you and I have talked I about. Probably, it I've we... said probably those same exact things yeah. to other people. Yeah. You yeah. know. Well, and like you said, before we started this podcast, you're like, I don't know that I've ever had anything, you know, interesting or that my story is that unique. I'm like, no, dude, people outside of this religion would think it's fucked, <laughs> like your story. <laughs> and so, like, when you read that message, again, here, and people listening that know it, like, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, we get that. But, like, outside that, like, your grandma mm-hmm. and people like that would be like, that's fucked. That's mm-hmm. horrible. But mm-hmm. from their perspective, it's like, oh, yeah, no, that's what they think. That's what they believe. That's what's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it, yeah, fuck, it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It comes back to, like, what, we, what I, we've talked about before. Like, you just start to look at that perspective and be like, yeah, I mean, on the outside, you're like, okay, but if I were in the inside mm-hmm. of this religion still, I would probably be saying the same thing. Yeah, it feels super same shitty. Thing. Mm-hmm. So it has you have, it has you have empathy from. for that. Yeah. It's hard to be super mad at them. Mm-hmm. Even though you want it, right? it's hard to be mad. Because yep. mm-hmm. even though you did the same thing, yep. then you probably still would be. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. What if we just start our own hippie garden and start selling it? Slow and I would sure do something. it. Something. <laughs> I got a lot of hippie friends. Well, less than 10. Capital. That's all you need. That's all you need to start a farm. Anyway. Which means. Happy farm. You get to like nine, your other friends better fucking step it up. Like, yeah, like, like you're on the short list. Like, oh, like, oh my god, it figured out already. You know who always stays though? Who? <laughs> Michael Goldberg. <laughs> Goldie Hawn. <laughs> the goiter. <laughs> ah, that she guy. Wrap her up and go see if they're upstairs. I was, yeah. was kind of wondering. Yeah. He's supposed to like be here, I think. So, well, no, that's what you said, right? Yeah, this well, evening. yeah, I mean, it is gold. It's only, it's, yeah, it's only it's, a quarter after seven, and they're fishing. No, nah, they're still, they're not here. We'll see. I bet they're not. But, yeah. well, there we go. That was uh, a good uh, catch up. up. You finished, I know, I saw you finish that. I was like, you ain't going to have shit. No, I got a I'm done. Tiny, tiny I'm bit of mine. So, well, yeah. empty cans. There's kind of a little in there. Sucking her dry. Thanks, folks. (laughs) Till next time.